Well, uh, welcome. Uh, this Advent season, we're going to be looking at uh, the book of Ruth, which might seem to be a very strange book to be looking at uh, during the Advent season. Uh, but as we've already seen um, in the first chapter of Ruth, it uh, is this lovely story, a story that starts out in uh, severe tragedy and heartbreak. Um, but that's the beginning of the story. The story has a, a wonderful ending that ultimately points to the Lord Jesus Christ. And so throughout the book, as we'll be looking at this, we'll be seeing this uh, wonderful hope. And uh, many people come to the book of Ruth and they find it uh, to be one, just a, a, an engaging story. It's a story that we're all familiar with, the one in which the hero, hero or the heroine uh, must triumph in adverse circumstances. Uh, but what differentiates the book of Ruth from many popular stories is that behind the scenes, uh, it is God, uh, it is the Lord who is orchestrating all of this uh, for the purpose of saving and preserving the line of David who would ultimately bring forth the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the book of Ruth is in its own right a wonderful story, but it's a story because it points to David that it is so endearing. And ultimately because it points to David, it brings us to the Lord Jesus Christ. And in many ways, Jesus was born in an ignoble state, in a difficult time, and lived a difficult life, uh, mirroring much of what we see in the book of Ruth of sadness and sickness and heartache and ultimately death. But through his life, uh, through his death and through his resurrection, he brings in this ultimate uh, restoration of all things. Though we see it in part now, uh, we will one day see it in its fullness. Uh, and so do join us um, morning and evening at Gloucester Prez uh, as we consider this uh, wonderful book, the Book of Ruth, and how ultimately it brings us hope uh, this Advent season. So thank you.